Hello folks, this is Miguel from Embargo Man channel. So, first of all we have two things of announcement is that that the smart moves, you know, one movie studio has done a smart move in the release of Wonder Woman 1984. So, the thing, the really, the first thing is, is the good news that even though I hope Warner Brothers have seen Hollywood's stupidity video on my channel, that they were thinking, they were thinking of putting Wonder Woman on streaming services. Yeah, Wonder Woman 1984 because of this coronavirus thing, right? On streaming services, on Netflix. <clears throat> So, it is the idea or not, or I didn't even read the news, but somebody has told me, because even it's on the internet, it might be true, or it might just saying about Wonder Woman being released for streaming services. I mean, I am so glad that, I mean, I freaking have it. I'm back right down. Yes, yes, you see, I have a seat. I do have a seat. So, so one one thing I'll check on my Lenovo tablet M10. So, in in the wake of the scene of this, you know, I'm in. Am I just saying Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman, 1984 on streaming. Alright, this is this is one thing that I have seen Wonder Woman debut not happening confirms. Oh, oh okay, but but this is one thing of Warner Brother debates whether Wonder Woman 1984 should skip street theaters for streaming. Well, if this is one thing that I have a discussion, right? This is discussion of all this they they say about this. With the movie theaters closed across the globe for indefinite period of time, Warner Brothers is discussing whether to take its. I mean, uh, I mean, no oh, thanks for the newsletter. It takes its upcoming DC Comics ten. Wonder Woman 1984 directly to streaming and bypass theaters altogether to knowledge individual visuals told the rap. This comes from the rap. The discussion are still preliminary and have remained close to Warner Brothers Group Chairman Toby Emmerich and his top advisors according to the to one individual knowledge of the conservation e even director Patty Jenkins and producer Charles Rovin have not been brought into the talks. According to the Warner Insider, preferences are still. And let me just check on my mirror. My mirror it says, yeah, "I'm still rolling along, still rolling with my with my Canon Rubble T5 camera." Okay, according to the Warner Insider, preferences still release a movie theatrical, but. Executive considering a streaming alternative, probably as direct to consumer offering rather than as part of Warner's soon to launch subscription services, HBO Max. Okay, there's another one. The concern the insider said is that there is no known date for movie theaters to reopen, there may be shortages of favorable dates once theaters do come back online. For the many films that have has postponed, Wonder Woman 1984 still officially stands for wide release on June 4th. All right, and and this is all. It says everything about this Wonder Woman 1984. They have thought of going to streaming. I mean, that I think that is a good move. And you thinking? And I mean, you have to start streaming right now. You have to start even even if it has to be Netflix, go ahead, stream that movie. And, and all the other studios have to follow going through Netflix, 
through Hulu, through Disney Plus, that would be very helpful than losing your money, not not having anybody going to asses in the seats in theaters, right? So that would be a good mention about this. This is all good news about it, good news about all of this. And I want to mention now, and then I'm going to leave my tablet out. I'm going to leave my Lenovo tablet in. Must have saying is that that Florida airport. I mean, I don't know about New York. I mean, probably New York have more sense of, sense on this uh, on this topic about taking care of the passengers, putting in quarantine or something like that. When people are coming from Italy or they're coming from China or from South Korea or and even from Spain now, I mean. Most of like everybody, right? And if 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 they say, ask you a question to do this about to check in the temperature and to do all the measures and all the stuff for like you know what they're doing. I, I don't know if China's doing it right, but then if they want to check out for a quarantine for for like like saying you know and the reason that my mom came back from Colombia and there were some cases of the COVID nineteen coronavirus. You know, airports in Florida, they were not giving any masks or nor have hand sanitizers or still to wash your hands or whatever. So what they doing is they <clears throat> uncover no rubber gloves. Yeah, I mean latex gloves. Rubber gloves are very important nowadays, you know, latex gloves, all right. So uh, what's going on in, in, in this situation? is that you know the airports in Florida don't give a damn well this would be out of all the all the states even California has done a decision to close everything and that was a smart move for the state of for the state of California yes smart move move California so what's going on with this situation of the coronavirus thing, supposedly Florida is just a backward state that they won't give a damn about. They need to get work gloves or whatever, or check any patients coming from these effective areas from certain states or certain countries. Like, for example, somebody coming from China or some or, or or something like that, or from South Korea, and they say that was. Uh, let me check out your temperature. You have any contacts or whatever? None of that has been done. All right, here in Florida, and it's supposed to be the number one economy in the world, like the lar the world's largest com economy, the top dogs, and Florida being part of the top dog econ top dog economy the top dog economy don't do any crap so this is kind of ridiculous in there you know even even the third largest economy is having other prefectures or Canada and other provinces uh, checking out every patient or anybody who is coming from these effective corona virus countries all right so that's the thing what it is the government in the flooring and they have to test gloves have people in self quarantine and check out if they do have a vi have the virus even even for a blood test like, let me take a bit of your blood or something like, or whatever right just to have the covid-19 test or the coronavirus test here in florida people coming from uh, from an airplane out of an out of countries from anywhere anywhere do you have symptoms and ask questions have you have been to China do you have been to Italy do you have been to South Korea do you have been to the countries that COVID-19 has hit the hardest right so that's the question that it, it is and then people in in Florida, in Air, Florida airports are not doing that crap even though we have Disney World even though we have Disney World and and uh, Universal part, you know, Universal Studios Florida and stuff, everything is closed down. That was just a phase that I mean, what would they should do to protect people? All right, 
the thing with this, and I'm talking about all the mayors, even even in Miami, Florida, right? So what is going on with this not you know getting protected or <clears throat> having you I know I understand there is no mask or have even a bandana or something like that or or anything like that that the crew needs to wear all this to cover their mouths to don't catch this virus right so people should do to prevent things even for hand sanitizer or tell them to go wash your hands or something like a sink or something like that or go wash their hands right even though that you that that's just in here in Florida Probably New York, probably California is closing everything. No flights. California has done a smart move. Now it seems like Florida, who has receiving people, and then they have to just shut down all the airports in Florida. I mean, uh, that's what it is. Shut down all the airports in Florida. Close everything down. But just have hospitals to test them to see if their people are sick, if they have the COVID-19. Because cases in Florida are also growing too, you know. I mean, that's kind of like weird <clears throat> or something, you know. I mean, this is what it is about this thing, this COVID-19, this coronavirus, all right. People are flipping their shit, all right. They're going left and right saying they can't find any toilet paper they can't find food nothing right I understand the situation was going on but the thing of the situation going on that doesn't mean that the airport that people working at the airports the security guards the doctors and they need to have some doctors and and all these people who just gonna check people coming back no matter where they are or where they're coming from, they need to get tested for that. Especially if their people are coming from China, Italy, South Korea, and other countries, and even Spain, right? So, I mean, <clears throat> so DeSantis, I, I know you might, might have to obligate the people in the airports that even though they need to find anything with hand sanitizers, put in sinks that they have to do it, or whatever, to tell them to go wash their hands in the bathroom or something, or they need to like wear a protective mask or give them hand sanitizers. They need to do that. Even, you know, I don't know the situation in New York or California or whatever, but anyway, they wouldn't even want, might just close the airports, right? So, I mean, for example, is this, if somebody, if one of the effective virus, somebody's coming from Italy and and he comes to Miami, Florida, and he's coming from Italy and they never check him. They never check this guy if he has the coronavirus, right? So if he has a coronavirus and then they don't check him out right here in Miami, Florida, or I like that, like, and, and then everybody gets spread thanks to that guy coming from Italy, spreading us, making everybody else sick. Why? Because them idiots in, in Florida don't give a, a damn. They have, have to have, not to wear like masks or anything like that. They're not just checking people out left and right, right? So that is what they need to do. Even though we, <clears throat> We might be the top dog economy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Being number one. Number one largest economy in the world. Every other state is doing is doing their right. And Florida is just it's just a backward state, right? Florida is just a backward state. Not just getting, having uh, crappy teams or anything, but crappy way to deal things without even saying not asking questions if they've been to china if they've been to italy if they've been to the countries that where the covid 19 is most effective or whatever it is <clears throat> so asking that questions and getting hand sanitizers and, and and cover up the mouth or go tell them to go wash your hands or whatever i mean that is kind of 
stupid. I mean, it is one thing that they need to do is this. They need to have, you know, all the airport crew, all the security guard, all the TSA and all these people. If they need to wear gloves, they need to wear gloves. And all the doctors or clinics or nurses somewhere, if they want to test and check out fever, even if they said, oh, let me just put the spit or whatever, or check out or even if they have to take a piss if they have to you know i mean if they want to you know just go out you know, you know take a piss take a piss and i see and then and then with this urine sample see if the person is tested positive or negative that means you cannot have some some uh, some guy from china or some guy from italy or somebody somebody with that is not never tested who is positive with the COVID-19 or the coronavirus, you know, coming and infected. I mean, this is one thing, even if the Santa is, wa is watching, this decision of airports doing the best what they can, even though California has shut down, uh, my plan is shut down airports and all of this stuff, it is prevention. Staying at home is also prevention, even though, oh, my mom came. From Colombia, and then I have never went to the airport, right? My stepdad is just—he's the one going out to the airport, right? The, I'm, I'm just saying, I stayed home and I watched the movie, right? So what is this? That's just called prevention. I have just went out and just check out the mail and walk the dog. That's it. That's all I do, and probably jump rope and and stuff. Why? Because I mean, the gyms are closed. There's some things that are there are you know need to do to be precautious you know the right things to do is you know stay at home chill and that's it and then one thing it is that we need or 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 that we need or like here in Florida that the airports or they or like of like Florida airports need to get their shit together right so Florida airports need to get their shit together and saying, oh look, we have Max uh, 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 Purell or something like that or whatever it is. But let me just just, just pour it, put it in this nation in general. Within this nation in general, got to adapt measures of fully automated their factories to make all the masks and all of this stuff in this country by machines, all right? buy machines because people are not gonna let just go and make it no let us have machines do all the work right so that way production automation in some house somewhere have have benefits on everything automation has helped i mean automation has helped so many things around even to manufactured masks and and goggles and, and all the stuff that we need right now so so with so with this coming here with automation in hand like we have u.s factories go automated with these with with these masks that let machines in America make it automated, automate the mask, automate the all the equipment that we need to do, right? So that way it's faster. Automation has been very great and successful and that's what we need. And that would be quicker so Florida could have all the equipments and, and, and all this stuff, all the gear to protect themselves from this kind of virus and don't let like nobody comes in and have some idiots and not checking out or saying, look, let's gonna test this guy. Or oh, like, okay, this guy came from Italy, let me check that out. Or this guy came from China, or this person came from whichever effectively, or let me ask questions or whatever. You have any contact with somebody with COVID-19 or whatever it is, blah, 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 blah. Boom, check the person now, wash their hands. They, if they need to get a urine test, you could get a urine test or whatever. This thing has gone so, you know, out of hand. So that is what I'm saying about all this is this. 
So, as other states have done it, other states in the Union, even probably Hawaii, right? Like, what would you do, all right? So, what would you do for the governor of Florida and all the mayors of Miami, Florida, or all the camp or Fortland or whatever? What would you do, all right? What you do is to bring measure in Florida airports. The measurement in Florida airports is that every crew needs to have gear and all this protective gear, rubber gloves, a mask, and you know, and all the protective gear if they had as possible to protect themselves. So they could just check out and ask questions and even cups or whatever it is if they want to have to take a urine test or something like that, you know. Because that's what we need. That's what Florida airports need. Florida airports need is to be more of, of that if to take people if they're sick, gotta be in quarantine no matter where they're coming from. But yes, people need to be in quarantine. Tell them to wear a mask. You know, yes, wave to say hello. All right. So and and that's about it. About all these things that we need to take these measurements. I mean, this go to the Santas that you need to do something about with the Florida airports and 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 go follow along the lines. And yeah, like like or probably like what South Korea is doing you know even those one of the countries with the most coronavirus COVID-19 cases you know but yeah but that's just for the health of Florida to let the Florida airports to anybody who could come to say if they need to return home for where they're coming from and then after that just shut down shut down everything because I mean everybody's shutting down I mean it's the best bet it is the best bet and then for all of you I would say I would I would say stay home stay home I think the best solution for now is staying home staying home is the best solution to protect from this virus that we having until there is a cure there is a cure somewhere and believe me when all this has been calmed down when all this has been settled in, you know, if you want to just get their stuff together, DeSantis and all the people in Florida, to get that their stuff together, really, and say, let's let's have a plan. Let's have all these people buying the mask and the hand sanitizers and all the equipment they need and tests and even cups or whatever just to say well we are prepared we are prepared not to have people to get sick not to have people to go get sick and they have this and oh man i have covid 19 or whatever you know even people with aids going in for they have covid 19 and die in seven days or something like that you know <clears throat> that is called prevention and that's what you need to practice i mean to the santas that has to be on on that's just be on your way to say get your stuff together get your shit together all right that's what you need to do for the Florida airports so please hit the bell button and read uh, write down any comments do they have closed airports do New York or California that is doing their best with closing everything <clears throat> or New Jersey or New Jersey where they did their best to saying that okay let's go put them and they have all the equipment and mask and everything like that do they have any if do they have do they really did their best to prevent people to get sick from this COVID-19 coronavirus or the Kung flu or whatever they call it or a China virus, or, or or I call it the call it the Mexican beer name virus.
do they have 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 their thing together so people no matter which state does your state have people wearing masks all the airport crew please write me a comment and please don't forget to forget to subscribe on the embargo man channel hit the bell button for notifications and see you on the next vid because pretty soon I have more topics to talk about even though enjoy and and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Twitch and go to live me and now I have my own spoon channel right I have going to spoon pretty soon I might do some spoon um, um, you know spoon chats or you know because of because of what happened with YouTube and their decision to stop the stop the YouTube live for me I need a thousand subscribers goodbye and peace out